Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and today I want to show you how you can use the face recognition feature on Google. So stay tuned until the end of the video because this will help you to create family and friends albums super easy. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take you to my computer because it's better to see it there than in your phone. But if you want me to do a tutorial on your phone, let me know in the comments down below so I can do it as well. I'm gonna take you to my computer now. The first thing that you need to do is go to google.com and then you will see this icon right here and this is where all the Google apps are. So I'm gonna click on this button. I'm already logged into my Google account and I'm using Google Chrome. If you don't know how to do that, just let me know in the comments down below that you want a tutorial on how to do that. But I'm sure most of you know how to log into Chrome. And then once that you are logged in, you're gonna go and look for Photos app. Okay, so here is Photos and all my photos on my iPhone are synced on my Google Photos. So I think that's something you might wanna do if you want to have and keep all your photos and manage them on Google Photos. So you're gonna go to the left menu and you're gonna look for Explore. So they have this menu where it says People and Pets and I have all these people already. And you want to choose what persons do you want Google to recognize. So as you can see here, it's people and pets, and then you can choose to view all. These are the people that most frequently appear on my pictures. This says that it's entrepreneur mommy. I'm gonna change to my name, click on done, and it's asking me if this person is the same or different person. So I'm going to say yes is the same and this one is the same and this one is the same 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 so i'm gonna do done but then i want to name this little girl that it's right here i need to add a name for her i'm gonna do becky and i'm going to do my sister edit this picture right here if you don't like it so for example i just don't like that picture of me i'm going to select this one there it just changed my face to a different picture this feature is super cool because you can create albums that have only these people whatever people you add here let's say i want to create uh, an album that has all the pictures since becky was born i'm gonna do and create an album I'm gonna add Becky. I'm gonna click here on select people and I'm gonna select Becky. And I'm gonna click on confirm. Here it says notify me when my photos are added. And then I click on confirm. And it will start loading all the pictures for me. All the pictures that I already have on my Google Drive or my Google Photos and that Becky appears on those it will bring them here to this album and it says almost done. See, in all these pictures is Becky. And I'm gonna leave this and it will still be loading all the pictures. I already have um, 1,707 pictures of Becky. It is still working on it. It's bringing all the pictures and it will notify you once that it's done. Let's refresh it here. And it's already have 3,418 pictures right here. So I'm just gonna scroll down and it's loading all the pictures where Becky appears. You can also create an album where two people appears. So for example, I created an album recently for my 10th anniversary. I used this face recognition feature and brought all the pictures where my husband and I appeared. And all of these pictures appeared and it will keep feeding this album until you stop it. Super easy, super simple. I didn't have to go through all my pictures. I just have to have all my pictures within the photo app from Google. So this is a very cool thing that you can do during the holidays or the days that you're off work. You can dedicate a little bit of time to create an album and you don't have to invest a lot of time 
it will be doing it for you. I hope you enjoy watching how you can use this face recognition feature because I do enjoy it a lot as a mom. It's really helpful, it's really easy and quick and you can make it on your computer and on your phone. Let me know in the comments if you will be making some albums for these holidays. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to click on the like button and on the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye!